Hey, Steve Zook here. Welcome back to Pokesu Channel and the Guitar Ladder System. Hey, today's video is going to be how to develop single note technique. And I am cold as ice right now, and I purposely want to be cold as ice to, to show you how to develop technique. It's really simple. Um, some of the most powerful things in the world, folks, are simple. And I was recently reading, <coughs> excuse me, reading quotes from different entrepreneurs and Richard Branson, who is a billionaire, and he started uh, Virgin you know, airlines or bought it and turns it around, I'm not sure. And he also owned a record company. He's a brilliant, brilliant guy. He said some quote, something like, uh, any idiot can make things complicated, but it, you know, it takes some, something really special and a special, you know, frame of mind to make things simple and powerful. And I thought that was really cool. But anyway, here, here, here's the secret to developing single note technique. And, and really the bottom line is discipline, folks. When you develop single note technique, you have to understand that when you practice correctly, you're building technique. You won't know, you will not know that you're building technique, but you are. Let me give you an example. Let's say we just take, you know, uh, like a major scale, right? I don't really get into modes and stuff because it's just a major scale that starts on a different step. To me, it just makes things more complicated. Again, I like to keep things simple, <clears throat> just like my guitar ladder system, which seeds the subconscious mind. And I keep things simple, and your subconscious mind is the one that pieces everything together. Although I have 240 studies, thousands of dollars of material for only $1.99. You can buy it at stevesofguitars.com, but that's another wrap, right? Okay, so like, say you're doing just like a major scale like this. Do double triplets. You have to add an extra note on the third string, but anyway, and put the accent like. I, as you can tell, I'm also muting. I like to mute because when you mute, it creates a little more tension on the strings. It, it wakes your right hand up. It helps your helps your right hand to wake up and and become stronger and build technique. But right there, every time you do this, slow. And it's really important to tap your foot so you have a nice reference. One, two, three, four. So the secret, if there is a secret or the key to really building powerful single note technique besides practicing, right, is to practice slow and clean. Every time I do this, I am building technique. I'm not kidding. You won't know it, but what happens later when you're practicing or playing is all of a sudden you'll start peeling something off or you'll start to play a single note line. And by the way, the guitar ladder system is really good for building technique because of all the all the chordal work that you, that you do. And your left hand becomes really strong, and, and you can sometimes just play a whole riff with your left hand. But the point I'm getting to here is that playing slow and clean, and another super, super important thing is placing accents. Hear that accent? Bam! seem simple and it is simple but the results are huge you can also change the accent as opposed to putting the accent on the first note of the double triplet like this you can you know change it up I, I kind of like I kind of like doing it on the first but sometimes I'll practice on the third like so point I make, and now if you take my waterfall lick, if you send me an email, I'll send it to you, Steve, uh, stevezook7 at yahoo.com, not seven spelled out, or pokesu at gmail, or just go to stevezookguitars.com. Go to stevezookguitars.com and scroll down to the in the orange section, hit the guitar ladder tab. Uh, you might want to listen to a few of songs from my original CD, Transporter, which is reviewed at vintageguitar.com. Scroll all the way down though, on that guitar ladder uh, page. Uh, by hitting guitar ladder in the orange section of the home page and there's like four or five downloads i think the, the famous waterfall licks in there see here's the here's the waterfall lick this part's hard to do uh, cold so. that's a little tricky totally cold really should be more warmed up. And it goes into a 13 flat 9 
sound and then it comes down diminished. I'm not going to do the whole thing. But anyway, I just want to make a simple point today when you're practicing, whether you're doing another good thing to do with the double triplets is the diminish, the half step, whole step scale. Because then you got three notes per string, so bam. Maybe do it chromatically. What happens, I have a name for this, is you learn to create what I call kind of phrase memory. Or I've had this conversation with artist Shira Farrar of Strunz and Farrar. If you practice enough, it becomes an extension of your nervous system, and that's when you really start to peel. Like if you watch a great player like Al Viola or John McLaughlin or Barry Legrin, or you know, the, the guitar becomes an extension of your nervous system. But to, to get that hook up, to get that hook up, you need to uh, practice. And you gotta practice slow. So like double triplets with diminished. See, I'm building technique right now, even though I don't know it. Well, I do know it, but I mean, I'm just trying to say, you might think that because you're not playing fast, you're not building technique, but it's just the opposite. If you play clean with accents, and like I said, I like to mute to create a little more tension in my right hand. Also, you're, 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 you're developing your right hand and left hand, but this is, this is kind of more of a right hand development. So, I know, sometimes I don't get this. From the... Hear that accent? The accent is huge, and when you... When, another way to practice is do any kind of scale and then skip around with your accents like but let's just for now I'll be doing a lot more of this let's just stick with this for now so double triplets placing the accent on the first beat of the double triplet here we're using diminished maybe go up a half step right tap your foot So when you play that slow and clean like that, you're building technique. You might not be aware of it, but you are. But if you slop through it, you know, and, and, and you're not really hitting them clean, everything, you're not building technique. So the secret to building technique is discipline. You need to discipline yourself to play slow and clean. I like to mute because it creates a little more tension in your right hand and makes your right hand more powerful. Another thing to do is to pick hard. Pick soft, and then pick medium. Okay, so this is a simple little key, but it is really, really, really powerful because what will happen eventually is you'll just you'll, you'll have the ability to kind of think of an idea, think of a lick, or or you know just fall into a lick. But your but your your right hand and your left hand and your nervous system is keyed into that phrase, whether it's be double triplets or whatever. And you'll just start peeling it off. So take, so don't think, you know, if you sit down for an hour a day and go. Go the other way. You're building technique. Okay. Hear that accent? Bam. So I kind of put guitar development and music development into a couple different categories. The most important is really developing your improvisational skills, which is what the guitar ladder is all about. And the 240 studies help you to learn the 10 systems of improvisation in a very organic and simple way. And uh, you learn you know, all those different systems like contrary motion, you know, diatonic, chromatic, secondary dominant, flat five sub, you know, on and on and on, symmetry. Intervallic, you learn all that in a very organic way without having to put it into a cute little box. I teach the subconscious mind. Folks, it really works. I've sold over 5,000 courses now without one dime of advertising. Here's cycle one using the shading. See there, we put the major 13 flat five in. And when you find something that works like this, then work that all over the neck. Maybe go to minor nine to major 13 flat five, then maybe do it again, come down. But then you're going to want to start experimenting, which is the whole idea of the guitar ladder system. People that start working the guitar ladder system find that once you start doing some of my studies, you'll just be playing and you'll just, you're here. You're going to hear, excuse me, 
you're going to hear where, where the cycle wants to go or somewhere it wants to go different than maybe what what's written on the chart and you just want to go with that so anyway i'm going to stop this for now so do the work on the double triplet if you want to download cycle one from the guitar letter system just go to steve's guitars and go to the bottom of the you know the orange section where it says guitar ladder click that maybe listen to a few of my tunes as you're scrolling down to the bottom to get those free downloads okay this is cycle one but yeah folks people have bought the guitar ladder system with master's degrees in music people have bought it that, that are it's for advanced players really it's for advanced and intermediate players i've had people buy it that have done 300 studio sessions and tv and film but it really works they want to wake up their compositional skills if you, and like I said, you can read the review of my CD at VintageGuitar.com. Just put in Steve's Look in the search. If you want to hear some of my original tunes, um, you can hit the Guitar Ladder tab at SteveZookGuitars.com. If you want to order, if you want to invest the $199 and get thousands of dollars in high-quality instruction, just go to SteveZookGuitars.com and order. You're going to get 240 studies, 240 videos, 240 charts. I do not send it all at once. It doesn't work that way. It's not effective. I spoon feed you a little bit at a time, but it really works, folks. And if you want to call me and talk about it, feel free. 714-548-0385. Give that 714-548-0385. My advice, though, is that if you just love music and you love guitar, you want to get a lot more out of your practice time, you want to make a quantum leap, and it really works. This isn't hype. I've got 40 years into this. I used to study with Joe Pass when I was 23. I'm 63 now. I studied with uh, Horace Hatchett. Who taught Howard Roberts how to play. Howard Roberts started a Musicians Institute in Hollywood. I've, I've worked my ass off on this course, folks. It really works. So if you have a hunch on this, my suggestion, just go to stevesatguitars.com, order the Guitar Ladder System. You're going to be really happy you did. You're going, to, you're going to reach a level of playing and composing that you will never reach without it. It's really true. All right, folks, take care. Let's all stay positive. Keep the faith. Trust the universe. Ciao.